Servants are often quite misunderstood. There are a lot of misery memoirs out there from servants that were very badly treated, who had a horrible time. But there were also servants who had a whale of a time, who made the best friends of their lives in country houses, who were called cycling along corridors, long, huge, aching country house corridors. The aristocracy in Britain mainly employed male chefs, if they could. The thing about employing a man was that they were quite expensive. If you couldn't afford £100 a year for an English man cook, you would advertise for an English female professed cook. That is to say, a cook who has made cooking her profession. Preferably one who has been trained under a man cook. That cook would probably cost you around £50 to £60 a year, and that's the bracket that Avis Crocom fell into. She was a professed cook. Now that that's stewed down nicely, as my apple was a little sweet, I'm going to add some lemon juice. When we study female servants, we are really studying the history of women. And to me, it is impossible to think about studying the history of women without looking in depth at servant life. Avis Crocombe and the other cooks like her, who reached the pinnacle of their profession in a time when it was unthinkable to get any further, are incredibly important figures to consider and to look at. They are people that fought the gender battle in their own way. They didn't put on sashes and go out on the streets or throw themselves on the horses. But in their own way, they nevertheless fought for women to be recognised as professionals, doing a professional job in an incredibly male-dominated profession. If I say to you, think of a chef, I suspect that in the back of your head you have a mental image of a man in a top and whites. And if I say to you, think of a cook, you will probably think of a woman in her normal clothes with an apron on top. The gender divisions within cookery still exist today, very much so. Cookery is still seen, and still is, a very male-dominated profession. And I would say we should celebrate women like Avis Crocan, who fought the fight, who got to the top, who lived their own lives, despite the fact they were women in an incredibly patriarchal society. Go, Avis.